What is happening guys? Welcome back to the walkthrough. The first thing we're going to be doing this episode is heading on over to Emma and giving her more of your Welcome. seed. Love is being filled up by seed. Deva. Give her some because she wants it. Go on over to the idol. I have, do I have any new? I might not yet, no. Um, we're going to go to upgrade and, oh my god, I'm poor. I'm so poor. But we're going to go ahead and pick this up some money. Um, there's no real like, you have to go in this order type thing when regarding uh, your shinobi tools. Really, you should just be upgrading whatever you find to be the most useful. However, I will say that getting the uh, loaded umbrella tools sooner rather than later will be beneficial to you. Did I not? Did I just not? get? Oh my god, I needed 400. Wow. Waste of time! Grab spring load flame bent, uh, mainly just because I'm trying to work my way towards loaded umbrella. Loaded umbrella is really nice to pick up, uh, and we also want the other ones that are, are uh, the other upgrades that are down that tier. Uh, so point wise, if you haven't been dying, have the points that you need now to pick on up Shinobi eyes. Wait. Oh, that's right. I need to suppress presence before she dies. Whoopsie. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, anyway, from here, go back to Shugendo. We're going to be making our way to the Armored Knight first this episode. So we're going to be doing that same exact loop where we kill those couple of guys that we fought before. And what's great about this is we are really, really close to grabbing a level. Uh, you can, as you can see right here, you can shoot straight up and run if you're just trying to get to the boss very quickly. But as I mentioned, we're trying to... Uh, to get a little bit of XP here, so. Let's see, if for some reason you're not able to get the stealth kill on those guys, just go ahead and give them the axe. Don't do nearly enough fledge assassinations in this game. So anyway, instead of doing the jump across thing we did before, now we're going to be going on up. Alright. Welcome to the hall. Uh, well, actually, before him real fast. One over here. It's the red and white pinwheel, once you need to grab that to upgrade our merchant. Then, uh, as for things to have on for this fight, the only thing I'd really suggest that helps here is going to be the loaded umbrella. Uh, just because this thing has a bigger parry window, and this guy hits like a truck. So, this is going to just make things a little bit easier when it comes to parrying him. Now, at the end of the day, this is ultimately going to be a battle of posture. So, to that extent, if you've been following along should have Ascending Carp, Descending Carp, and then of course uh, Flowing Water. All three of these skills relate to your posture, they're going to help a lot. But the main gist here is you need to um, kind of bring him around this area. He is going to be breaking the walls and the, the windows. Miyazaki had to have some Dark Souls. Nope! Oh, that was... A so busy just spamming umbrella and missing the Kiri counter. But anyway, so you need to have him break stuff open, and then the idea is you just kick him out. So. Anytime he gets angry like this, back up. If you're really good with your timing, you might be able to hit all that stuff and deflect all of it, but. I would suggest just backing up to be safe. It's my Makiri.
getting angry again. No! Oh, God. That's not what I meant to do. That worked out, though. So we almost got his posture bar filled. Stab him. We'll push him. But as you can see, we whiffed. So, what we got to do here, like I said, this is a battle of posture. And you, ultimately, you just need to position him so that when you go to do that kick, you're gravitying his ass. We're going to move on over here. It's a little bit easier to do it in this area. Be gone! Thought! Yeah, pretty intense fight. As you can see, we blew through uh, all of our heals right there. Kind of whiffed, uh, kicking him into the wall early on. But, Breath of Nature Shadow. So, we had that other upgrade we could have gotten that does this. Uh, I feel that since we get this relatively early on, the other one isn't even needed. But, so anyway. Night dead. On and grab the scrap magnetite and rest at your new idol. All right, so first we're going to here jump down to the building. There should be a shard. We're gonna go to the right first down that way. Here. Oak and sugar. Should be a pellet up ahead. Uh, there's a couple wolves here, so just, you know, have your shurikens ready. Monkeys, too. Oh, bad monkey. Now, there is a big boy up ahead that we're going to try and get a stealth kill on. It's a little bit tricky because he's hanging out with the monkeys. Oh, man. Almost didn't pull it off. Alright. Now with them dead, get the balloon, get the balloon, and get the persimmon. So don't use this one. If you want to use some, buy the other persimmons you can get. Uh, as I mentioned, you're going to need this persimmon for part of one of the endings. I mean, you don't need that persimmon in particular, but you need a persimmon. I forgot to grab that earlier. Bastard. Got about that thing on the ledge. We're gonna go grab that real fast. Uh, but first, up here. So taking a look at the notes here. Um, let's see. Follow the path back down. Persimmon. Three spirit balloons. Back up and swing right for a Mibu balloon. Okay. Go up. We'll get the Mibu balloon. Then we're gonna hearth and we'll get that item. Gonna hug. Idol. And we're going to travel back to Shugendo. We'll go grab that item that we missed real fast. Same as before, we're not even going to bother fighting uh, fighting those guys. They're just too damn irritating. Late game, they're kind of fun to fight, just as a, something to practice with. But all the the jumping and flipping, it's just like, ah, eh, you know, I don't, I don't got time for all that. Thank you for the gotchin sugar. Bye bye, bitch. I'm on my way. 
Alright, and we have a... Let me just check here. Yeah, we do have another boss coming up. So before that, I want to... I'm going to head back to Dilapidated because we're ideally you're really going to want to have the next upgrade for the Loaded Umbrella before the upcoming boss. I want to see exactly what upgrade mats I'm missing because we're probably going to go buy them. Let's see. One scrap magnetite and three scrap iron. Not that hard to acquire. Magnetite, iron. So let's travel first to stairway. Now, just to be clear, you don't need to have the upgraded umbrella for this fight. You can definitely get by without it, but it helps a lot. It helps a lot. Like, I can't, I mean, when I say a lot, I mean like it's night and day. You needed three scrap iron. Let me pop some, some bags real fast. But he needs somebody that's big and strong, so it's good that we come here now because I want to get that, that dialogue so we can send Big Boy to him. Have our three scrap iron. And I always do that. Every time. Every time. That is my, my most defeated jump in this game. And now we're going to hop back over to Gendo. Go visit the merchant there. And we'll get the scrap magnetite that we were missing. Head back to the temple and upgrade our umbrella. This is the one upgrade I would really consider to be required for the umbrella. Um, once you have this, you're able to sit in shelter and deflect multiple times. Uh, and what's so incredibly amazing about that upgrade is prior to that, every time you use the umbrella for deflect, it's going to cost you spirit emblems. Whereas after you have this, you can keep the umbrella out. Do I not have enough gold? 600. Son of a bitch. Thought I had enough. There we go. Um, but to take a look at it, as you can see, you can um, tap left bumper as an attack lands. So basically it allows you to sit in shelter, just fully blocking things. And while fully blocking things, you would just hit the button to deflect, same as you would uh, if it were your blade. And just to, to really showcase the, the major difference here, you know, uh, as they can both be used to deflect, the first one, you know, spirit emblems, spirit emblems. The second one, spirit emblem. Oh, no, huh. It does still call spirit emblems. I didn't think it did. Well, sometimes you're wrong. Anyway, it's still much better because you're able to just sit there and hold block uh, as opposed to, to worrying about, you know, having to throw it out. You just literally sit and block and spin, so it just makes it easier to deflect. Either way, it's still worth it. So, back over to here. Um, we're going to just run this way and jump on into the water. There's two treasure carps here. Oh, oh. Ah. It's got away. Okay, now we're gonna rope up. Here. Here. Grab this. Over. Kill this guy. This guy. 
These ones are a little bit funky. They don't really see that well. And you probably could have guessed that from the robes covering their faces. This is actually a nice little area early on. Um, kind of before you're at the end of the zone, just in case you need to farm skill points or what have you. Uh, so let's see, kill all of them, rope out for, for the ash, dual blade, smash the rest, run ahead for a shard, and you'll see a bunch of them. Okay, so we're going to go this way first. Jump up. I'm going to grab this. Now, look here. You'll see we got Gremlin there. There's a couple of these guys on the rooftops. So instead, what I want to do here, seen already these guys can be pretty annoying. Jumped a little too far. Rope up. Quickly go this way. Basically just taking a stealth approach to dispatch all these little gremlins. Got two over there. Take them out next. One down in the courtyard. Solace, but that doesn't matter. Ah, you shit saw me. Ignore the one that's seen you down in the courtyard for now. Ah, shit, he turned around. Hate these little shitters, dude. Poison. I think my big problem with these things is they're so small, it's like hard to see when they're actually swinging their, their little blades. Because of that, I end up just getting hit by them a bunch. Seemed to work pretty well. Maybe I should just do that all the time. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Kill the gremlin on the back side of the temple, then work your way. That's what was in the courtyard. Small purse. Kill the dudes inside. Grab the loot and dip back. Okay. Now here's the small purse. Uh, just approach this from the back of the temple. There's your first encounter with a centipede. Ah, no. Go away, centipede. Oh, God. Grab me while I'm fighting the centipede. We're going to bring you out here. The centipede won't move, thankfully, so you don't need to worry about that. Oh, oh stop that. Stop that. Oh, my God. As I mentioned, you can't kill these things yet, so... Little bit tricky. Ugh. There we go. Got the fat wax. Well, to clarify, once again, you can kill them, but they just come back. They just keep resurrecting. So, 
Um, anyway, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so we're going to do this next. We're going to go and get an idol. We'll make our way back down for a boss. Another one of those hat guys right there. But this one is a real shield helmet. Shield head, so you can actually just... Clap. Alright, now we're going to do a bit of a haul ass and sprint run. Um, just to check my notes. Let's see. Head to the next title. Yeah, okay. You can kill stuff on the way. You're not really looking to fight everything here. Uh, in particular, there's a couple of those whirly twirly guys up ahead. We don't really want to mess with them. They see us. But, through Dark Souls fashion... frames when you're opening the door. Sorry guys, you're not allowed in the temple. This temple is for cool cats like me only. They literally won't come in here, you're safe. Uh, they can throw shurikens and whatnot, but they cannot enter the temple, so, you know, chillax. Um, and now, go ahead and get my shinobi eyes. And with shinobi eyes acquired from here, um, Mid-air combat arts is pretty nice. It's a good like utility thing to have, but I would probably suggest beginning to work your way through prosthetic arts, as these are quite nice to pick up. Alright, um, let's see. There's some gum powder, some ungos, pellet, fat wax, a couple different things around here we're going to grab. Um, this is a shortcut we'll get later. Don't worry about it for now. As you can see, though, area is filled with centipedes. First, grab the fat wax. We're just going to do this the, the cheap and easy way. Uh, might as well talk to Priest Guy while we're here. Uh, just run through his dialogue. He is uh, basically praying about the child of the rejuvenating waters, how there's one left. You want to ask about her, he's going to say she's confined to the inner sanctum. It's impossible to see her. If you ever do see her, give the holy chapter. You need to have this item to obtain one of the endings. So, very important that you talk to this dude and, and get that. Um, nothing else here. He says, you know, you're the one that works for the Divine Air, blah, blah, blah. I'm so foolish. I wish I understood this. Uh, essentially, what they tried to do, to give a little story background here, is um, knowing of the, the dragon's blood and whatnot, they basically tried to create, like, artificial Divine Airs, in a sense. Um, so, the child is also one who survived this process and has that same immortality. Um, let me see. Let's just knock the monk head out the back. Yeah, we're gonna do the cave first, okay. Cave. Looking out this door. Check to make sure. Okay, that guy's now looking for us, great. Head this way, kill a monk. Um, and then this area is going to be filled with these claw guys, and as you may remember, we're able to just jump and aerial death blow them. That's it, don't even got to do anything else, just jump and death blow. Alright, and you can see you can drop down there, but it's silly to drop instead into the little hole here. Should have a balloon. This guy. Should be a somewhere around. There's my balloon. All guys coming up. I think it's just because their backs are exposed to you, so it just allows you to, to death blow them. Um, remember this guy. This guy is going to be important very much later. We're just going to call him uh, 
purple mummy. So remember how to get to purple mummy. That's going to come into play. Up. Jump up again. Head on over here. We now have the Sempo Esoterics text. Um, while I'm not a giant fan of these skills, there are some passives that increase the amount of golden item drops you can get. So they are worth mentioning, even if I'm not a giant fan of the, the combat arts that they have. Uh, so let's see, after that... Uh, Goken's up ahead. Oh no, I'm reading too far ahead. Pellet and jump back across, sugar and rested idol. Sugar. Head right back in here. Go ahead and rest. All right. Uh, so looking at my notes here, we have a quick farm run here. We have Centipede Bro, Lone Shadow Swordsman, and then Genichiro. Um... Yeah, I think this this looks like a good area to wrap up since we've knocked out the majority of this. Um, next episode, we're going to finish swinging through this area real fast. Uh, so we'll, we'll knock this zone out, and then we're going to make our way to Genichiro. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys soon.